Checkpoint updated. Sun will set shortly. <clears throat> I told you, you can't walk around good neighbor without insurance. You better back off, or you're the one who's gonna need insurance. Whoa, whoa, hey, all right. We'll just say your insurance is paid up for now, okay? Someone steps through the gate the first time, they're a guest. You lay off that extortion crap. What do you care? She ain't one of us. No love for your mayor, Finn. I said let her go. You soft, Hancock. You keep letting outsiders walk all over us. One day, there'll be a new mayor. Come on, man. This is me we're talking about. Let me tell you something. Why'd you have to go and say that, huh? Mine now. Hard over here. Bingo. Now I know you had old Finn handled back there, but a mayor's gotta make a point sometimes. You all right? It's not every day I get mugged and witness a murder right in front of me. You obviously haven't been living it up enough, but we won't judge you for that. Good neighbors of the people, for the people. You feel me? Everyone's welcome. Of the people, for the people. Oh, brother. <laughs> I can tell I'm gonna like you already. Just consider this town your home away from home. So long as you remember who's in charge. Hey. I'm sorry. Hey there. Oh, new face walks into my store. And you're not even screaming yet. Very polite. You let me know if anything catches your fancy. Did you say something about people screaming at you? That's right. Some newcomers have never seen a ghoul before. Can't handle a friendly face, I say. So you need some supplies? I'll take a look, sure. All the supplies, money, or violence can buy. Daisy, what have you been up to?
Everything okay, boy? Fred, are you going to hang out in the lobby all day again, or are you actually going to go down and do some work? Being available to the customers is work. It's not all about cooking chems, Claire. It's not all about sampling those chems either. Maybe if you stop using, you can focus. What? Where's the fun in cooking it if you ain't using it? My mistake. There's one person in this whole backstabbing neighborhood that's earned the right to upset me from time to time. Thanks for your help. Don't worry about it. Excuse me. You're from Sanctuary Hills, aren't you? Aren't you? I know you may not admit it, but underneath that... Wait, are you from vault -Tec? I am vault -Tec. 20 years of loyal service, and now look at me. I wasn't on the list for you. Look at you. 200 years, and you're still perfect. How's that possible? Think about it. You don't know? They didn't tell you? Tell me what? What is it? How did you get through these last 200 years untouched? The vault had these pods that froze us in place. I only thought out recently. What? vault never told me that. Unbelievable. Well, I had to get to the future the hard way. Living through the filth, the decay, and the bloodshed. Look at me. I'm a ghoul. A freak. I'm so sorry. I didn't know this would happen. You know, you're the only other person I met from before. I, uh, I... Oh, God. I've been so alone here. No Commonwealth settlement wants a ghoul with 200 years of vault tech sales experience. Where else could you go? Diamond City bigots don't allow ghouls inside. It's just here, or back at Sanctuary, talking to that crazy robot of yours. Hey, you know you could head back to Sanctuary. I'll come visit. I promise. Really? You... you will? Okay, I'll head over there right now. You promise you'll come visit, right? I'll see you there. Pardon me. Look at you. Two centuries, and your skin's as smooth as a baby. Hey. But I don't want anyone.
anyone here to forget what matters. Hey, Daisy, glad you could make it. How's my favorite girl doing? Didn't I see you in a thing with Borowski the other day? He wishes. <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right, we're getting off track. What was I saying? Oh, that's right, what matters. We freaks gotta stick together. And the best way to stick together is to keep an eye out for what drives us apart. You feel me? Yeah, you tell it like it is, Hancock. Now, what out there in our big, friendly commonwealth wanna drive us apart? What kind of twisted, unneighborly boogeyman would wanna hurt our peaceful community? The Institute and their sins! That's right. Who said that? Coming up to my office later. You've earned yourself some Hi. The Institute. delicious. I the don't care. Enemy. Not the Raiders. Not the super mutants. Not even those tools over in Diamond City. Uh, I don't know, Hancock. I'd sure love to give Madonna a kick in the ass. Hey, we all know I got my own personal beef with that lard head. But stay focused. Now, I want everyone to keep the Institute in mind. When someone starts acting funny. When people are doing things they don't normally do. When family starts pushing you away for no reason. We all know who's behind that kind of shit. And the only way to stop it is to stick together. They can't control us if we're not afraid. Now, who's scared of the Institute? Look at us! And which town in the Commonwealth should the Institute not fuck with? Good neighbor! Good neighbor. And who's in charge of good neighbor? Hancock! Hey, hey, the people! All the people! The people. Follow me, boy. Hey there. Hancock says newcomers are welcome in the third rail. Go on in. Thank you. Hi there. Hey, Scabber. Let's trade. To Not looking to buy right now. Boy, we got beer. Cause we're you all ain't buying beer, you ain't buying. Do you know Emma Jean Cabot? Name rings a bell. Kind of balmy. Haven't seen her in a while, though. Try Magnolia. She likes to make friends with people. She might know more about this missing bird. Magnolia! Gal wants a word. No robot is superior to me. Hey, Magnolia. Mm -hmm. Well, what's the matter, sweetheart? Don't tell me you didn't like the song. I've never heard that song before. Who wrote it? I did. Everything I sing is an original. Now, there's something special about you, isn't there? Don't tell me. Let me guess. Ah, it's your hands. They move even when you aren't thinking, right? Quick on the draw. <laughs> so what brings a woman like you to my part of town? What do you think? We're all trying to forget something, are we? I think you and I are gonna get along. So it's my turn to answer questions, right? What can I do for you? Do you know Emma Jean Cabot? Emma Jean? Sure. I know her. I haven't seen her in a while, though. Were you a friend of hers? She's missing, and her family's worried about her. Oh, I'm glad somebody's looking out for her. 
She seemed like a body that could use looking after. Do you know where she's gone? There was this preacher fellow who used to come in here all the time. One of the slick ones. Always going on about remaking your life and so on. Most of the customers wouldn't give him the time of day, but Emma Jane, she latched on to him for some reason. I don't suppose it hurt that he was easy on the eyes. Mmm, intense. Some women find that irresistible. Pam, would you come over here a minute? Is there a problem, Miss Magnolia? No, this lady here was just looking for Emma Jane. Do you happen to know where that uh, preacher fella came from? Hmm. Brother Thomas? Yes, that's right. The one Imogen was always hanging on. Had to throw him out. Wouldn't stop bothering customers with that salvation racket. Kept going on and on about joining him at the back bay. Then he'd shove those stupid flyers in your face. Here, I kept one of them. Just in case he didn't pay his bar tab. Mm. Well, thanks, honey. You were a big help. Anything for you, miss. I hope Imogene's all right. I didn't much like the idea of her going off with that preacher fellow. Entertainment down the stairs. Uh -huh. Sounds rough. Hey.
Hello, neighbor. Hi. Welcome, neighbor. We're always glad to see a new face around here. Welcome, neighbor. We're always glad to see a new face around here. Tell me something. You have a feel? Mm -hmm. Hey, we've got trouble. Burp! Welcome, neighbor. We're always glad to see a new face around here. Tell me something. You ever feel like this one? I'm looking for Emma Jean Cabot. Oh, I'm sorry, but Emma Jean is indisposed right now. She's not seeing visitors. Her family's worried about her. You can tell them that she's... Mm -hmm. Not that it's any of your business, but... Uh -huh. She's not seeing anybody until she cools off. I'm a friend of the family. Maybe I can talk some sense into her. I said she wasn't seeing anybody, including you. You're not holding her prisoner, are you? No, she's not a prisoner. She's just locked in her room until she calms down. She was acting crazy, threatening to run off. No offense, uh, but... <laughs> You know how women can get sometimes. I'm going to see her, one way or another. Your choice. You picked the wrong guy to mess with, pal. You're dead. I Stay out of my way.
sweet. Come to Mama. Um, hey, got a sec? Must be Emma Jean. Don't tell me. Jack sent you. Well, actually, it was Edward, but close enough. Edward, who works for Jack. I know Jack was behind this. He's always trying to control me. You don't seem very grateful for being rescued. Well, maybe technically I was not allowed to leave. So, thank you. I was bored with Thomas anyway. He seemed so interesting at first. But after we got here, he turned out to be just another brute. He actually thought it could force me to join his absurd cult. Your boyfriend's dead. Let's go. Thomas? He wasn't my boyfriend. We had some fun together, that's all. Besides, he shouldn't have locked me in here. Oh, I'm not going with you. You can tell Mother I'll be along home before too long. I just need a drink first. Excuse me, miss. Hey, how's it going? Not feeling great at the moment. Time to put on a show.
Hey. Hi. Listen up, soldier. Anything to report? Hey. Hi. Got a dangerous look about you. Hope you ain't here for me. No. 